Ladies and gentlemen, this is the world famous Royce Battle! Hello! Hell yeah. What up, y'all? Judges? Good Shit, sets chilly. tonight. Happy Fun birthday, stuff. Moses. Happy birthday, Brian Moses! Happy birthday, Moses! Black people live in another year, year, year. I hate this bit, Jamar. You do it every time we do Rose Battle. It's only funny to me. I don't know why. On, yeah. <laughs> Not my birthday. These people go, oh my God, let me buy you a shot. I'm like, bitch, it's not my birthday. Yeah. Frank, how you feeling tonight? Amazing. This crowd's phenomenal. I'm excited for these fucking battles. So yeah. stoked to be in Austin. <laughs> Sorry. That was pretty much about it. That's, That's how I your feel. dating profile? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I like hikes. I like long walks on the beach near uh, Lady Bird Lake by myself. You know what I mean? Uh, and the commissioner. Commissioner, you booked all these battles tonight. Who, uh, what should we expect tonight? Uh, carnage, bloodbath. Uh, I mean, people are coming from all over. We have a roast, the Roast Battle League has six cities in America. We have battlers coming out from LA, the Bay Area, Chicago, Denver, and New York, and Austin, of course. They're all going to be represented tonight, and they're all out for fucking blood. I can't wait. Let's do this. Hell yeah. Let's fucking do this. All right. This first match coming to the stage, both guys are from San Francisco. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Let's meet him from San Francisco. Keep it going for Logan Farr. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we love Logan here at the Rose Battle. He's a veteran. He's disabled. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to his it. legs? They're just ashy, Jamar. Don't worry about that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Some yeah. black ass legs. Uh, <laughs> Logan, how did this happen to you? Want to tell the people at home what happened to you? How I got this roast battle or how I lost my legs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you lost your virginity. Yeah, how you lost your legs. Uh, I got legs. hit by a train on my 21st birthday. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I was 5'8 when it happened. <laughs> oh, so this was, uh. this was strategic. You were trying to get taller. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You think girls talk to guys under six feet? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, now he's Lieutenant Damn. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's meet your opponent, folks. Uh, just met this cat. Great mullet. Make it loud for Connor Lonsdale. Oh. Yeah. Yes. 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 Connor, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to have you. From San Francisco as well? Oakland. Oh, shit. They make niggas like you in Oakland? Shit. <laughs> White guys with mullets? Yeah. There's actually a lot of them. Too many. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. The clan's coming to Oakland. All right. Uh, actually, I got hit by a train, too, and I woke up with his haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Do you know anything about Logan? Are you guys friends? Uh, acquaintances. We met a few times. All right. Whatever. He's uh, actually from Sacramento. I don't know why he says San Francisco. I didn't say shit. I just didn't. <laughs> I did. I just, yes, it's the Bay Area. But guys, your whole fucking, your whole region is homeless. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Unhoused. <Yeah. laughs> uh, anyway, it's one round. It's five jokes. Gentlemen, who's going first? All right, fine. All right. Physically handicapped, socially handicapped. Who's ready? <laughs> battle, battle, battle. There we go. That's right. All right. Uh, you know, I didn't want to go after the obvious. But you, you, you got to address the elephant in the room. Because we're all thinking it, right? I mean, look at this. It's, what a fag. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going for eastbound and down syndrome. <laughs> Connor, you're dressed like every mannequin in a bait shop. <laughs> if you're going for a trailer park dyke, you got it. <laughs> Logan doesn't let his disability stop him from achieving his dreams, you know? He lets his shitty comedy do that. 
<laughs> that was a nice one, Joe takes it in the dirt. <laughs> I feel like the only reason Connor grew out his mullet is to hide his girlfriend's handprint in the back of his neck. You know, that's date rape in the front and just rape in the back. Every time I battle, people always gotta call me a rapist, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's the mustache, yeah. dude. <laughs> Logan hates black people so much. Yeah. Now, I, <laughs> I I think he he got his he cut his feet off on purpose. Just to show he was like, oh, it's not so bad what they did to runaway slaves. <laughs> And, and he used an above-ground railroad to do it. He's right. <laughs> Connor is a drummer, and his girlfriend is an illegal immigrant. So unlike a lot of white people, you know he can keep a beat in his fucking mouth shut. <laughs> Logan, you're the only Republican that can't pull himself up by his own bootstraps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them stickers on his legs. Connor works in the mail room because he thought he'd be handling mail packages. He wears that fanny pack. Because he, he wants his fanny packed. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Logan has a phantom limb syndrome. You know, sometimes late at night, when he's lying in bed, he can still feel his feet curb stomping that black kid. <laughs> That was a nice one, Billy Rape Cyrus. <laughs> Thank you, Fat Walsh. <laughs> the only time Connor eats pussy is a trans woman's. <laughs> Some of you got it. <laughs> and that's how it ends, folks. Keep it going for the Bay Area. Yeah, Logan Farr, Connor Lonson. And before I go to the judges here, the, uh, the audience should know this. Uh, we had a guy drop out uh, who looks just like Connor. <laughs> but uh, these guys had two days to write these jokes. So make a lot for how good yeah. that was for two days of work. Yeah. Well we, done. 48 hours? Fuck. We, we couldn't find anyone to fill his shoes. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right, man. That's kind of below the knee. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, was a, this was an interesting battle. I'm going to start with Frank, actually. It was an interesting battle. It was like, Connor kind of turned it around when he started calling Logan racist. It really got good for him. <laughs> I mean, you know, he knows his Austin audience, so it was... Uh, no, it was, it was interesting, because I thought Logan had it pretty much all the way, because it felt like Connor was like slowly building up to it, and then you hit him with like two solid ones, uh, and I feel like that really changed the momentum. But... Every time you hit him with a hard one, Logan kind of had these really funny, um, you know, just like little, like quick little tidbits that really, I think, changed the momentum back. Uh, you kind of hit him on a lot about being racist, and I just couldn't believe the premise because clearly he's half black. So it's like, you know. Um, he's, but. He's, <laughs> it's not half, Frank. That's, he's he's three fifths. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I liked Connor, uh, but I think Logan just took it out for me uh, over the course. We just had more hits, and he was just from top to bottom. He had stuff in the beginning and the end. But, uh, <laughs> from top to bottom? Top to bottom, Doc. Uh, and Connor had solid hits, but I think Logan just beat him out. All right. One for Logan. Uh, Brian Moses, this roast battle is phenomenal. Wouldn't you guys agree? <laughs> <laughs> it was good. They both look like Newport cigarette models. Specific, sure. 
The saddest part about Logan's legs is that he can't get tattoos, so he put stickers on them. <laughs> yeah. That shit does not work. It's look dumb. You might as well take the legs off. I'll give you one later. <laughs> oh my god. I'll give you one later. <laughs> <laughs> he look he looked like if the incredible Hulk uh transformed and his shorts ripped and his legs did too. Like fuck, I done angered out my legs. And uh, he looks like the first gay porn star ever. Ah, uh, Connor. I think, I mean, shit, I mean, the guy, the guy over there, Connor, he was, he was good or whatever. I mean, um, I, I feel like know. you were mad at me. No, 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 I wasn't <laughs> mad at you. I know I'm not the black guy in those jokes. Um, <laughs> hey, my nigga, what up, boy? All right, oh, here. shit, there's niggas here? Yeah, there's one. What? What up, one nigga? Hey! Hell yeah, we uh, I don't know, man. I'm gonna give it to uh, I'm gonna give it to Legs on originality because he kept on hitting the same points and shit like that. It's two two racist jokes and shit like that. So I'm gonna give it to Legs over here, man. Okay, okay. But God I still ready. love you. Yeah. Black legs matter. Hell yeah. Man. And uh, take us home, Pat. Don't let Jamar fool you. He was mad about that slave joke. I know because I started laughing and then I panned over and I was like. Nah, I don't fuck. I don't fuck with that joke, man. <laughs> Shouldn't say that shit. That's rude. It's disrespectful. I mean, look, this was this was a great battle, especially on two days' notice. This looks like the last page of Grinder. <laughs> when you get all the way to the end, Logan, I love your whole vibe. You got the voice of Oscar the Grouch and the body of Oscar Pistorius. I'm going to lock you in the bathroom later. Um, I can't believe people remember who that is. Fuck yeah. Thank God he killed that lady, huh? That reference would not have held up. I thought you guys were were crushing back and forth. Uh, uh, Connor actually loved your open where you build it up with the uh, I'll say what we're all thinking, and then you just called him a a fag. That was... That was clever. Um, That's what we were all thinking. I mean, you made... Yeah, for sure. You made it work. Um... And then I thought it was really close, and that bootstraps joke was just so fucking good, man. It was unbelievable. Logan, I, I, I hate to see you get defeated twice in your life. <laughs> defeated. But... <laughs> yeah. Come on, y'all, y'all slow now. I mean, I... <laughs> I don't know what to say. At the end, Connor was just like a runaway train, and I think he got oh you. My uh, God. Oh, my I give it to Connor. Patrick. <laughs> Folks, keep it up for your first one tonight. Mr. Logan Fox. <laughs> Hug each other! Shit. This battle's exciting. Uh, this is Austin versus New York. Let's bring up your hometown hero first. Make a loud for Mr. Jack Timmons. <laughs> What up, JT? That one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's up? <laughs> Why? What the fuck is going on? Why what? are they laughing at you right now? Probably because I'm strong as hell. I don't know. That better be why. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Jack, it's good to meet you. Um, should we know anything about you? Strong thing. I think I covered that. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. All right. Let's meet your opponent. Uh, he's tall. He's great. Make a lot for J.P. McDade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I love this. You guys what's look up? Like what's up? It's not, not, not much J.P. It's not a J.P., everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right, J.P. I thought, sorry. I got these fucking allergies. <laughs> yeah. right, You're allergic to white people. Say it. <laughs> Say it. That's why I'm over here. Shit. Uh, JP, welcome. This is your second time in, uh, on this show. Feeling blessed. You are. <laughs> oh, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Oh my Let's God. go. All right. I hate both of you with this bullshit. Moses, what? Moses what is this? Oh, fucking Mac versus PC? Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. You guys look like you're both about to commit like white collar crime. No. What in the Pokemon evolution's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. JP, do you know anything about Jack here? 
Just a little bit. Just uh, been yeah. been stalking him online, getting him to know him. He's a strong little boy. Yeah, Don't get fuck it twisted. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Hell yeah, I am. Powerful haunches on the kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, man. Yeah. Let's just do this. <laughs> One round five jokes. New York. Austin, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Damn right. Are we ready? Cool. Are we ready? <laughs> battle! 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 JP! Jack! Let's roll! Thank you so much. Uh, Jack's girlfriend is deaf. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Jack's girlfriend is deaf. That's because she was standing right next to him when he found out we're getting another season of Rick and Morty. Yeah. yeah. She's deaf. Definitely real. <laughs> Definitely fucking real. You guys can't see it. He's actually wearing lifts. And... <laughs> The doctor told me I was actually supposed to be JP's height, but uh, his stupid fat mom broke a growth plate in my back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I added the stupid part. That felt. Thank you, freelance barbershop quartet singer. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. Uh, Jack does very little comedy. He performs every night. He's just very little while he does it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't eat all my fucking vegetables, JP. <laughs> JP is very tall, obviously, and uh, a lot of the problems that come with that are in public. He can't use public restrooms very well. Like, going into the stall, he has to duck so the women don't see him in there. Jack is carrying on his family's legacy in sports. His dad used to be a major league umpire. Jack works part-time at Lululemon. Mm -hmm. I do. The only, thing, the only thing they have in common is a mutual enthusiasm for ejecting Hispanic people. Yeah. yeah. Stop bringing counterfeit bills in there. I don't know what to tell you. What do you want? Uh, JP is an alcoholic. He, uh, at least that's what he told me when I walked in on him putting that Corona bottle in his ass. I said, JP, you don't have to buy it. Just get out of the Whole Foods. It gets in your bloodstream faster. <laughs> Thank you, tertiary character from a movie about Enron. Jack is five foot seven, I'm six foot seven, but somehow our hairlines are at the same altitude. <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you, someone turned that flashing light off on the top of your head, you tall prick. <laughs> oh, the airplane thing didn't work, whatever. Uh, not a lot of people know this, JP is not one man, he's actually two gay guys on each other's shoulders. <laughs> You can tell because his feet are actually backwards right now. <laughs> My pronoun is we. <laughs> Damn. Oh, fuck, that's good. Like I said, Jack's girlfriend is deaf. Their relationship works because after sex, she can't hear him say, gee whiz. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to fucking climb your ass right now. <laughs> JP, hey, what's JP stand for? Giant faggot with a J and a PH? <laughs> that was my favorite one. <laughs> That's fucking wordplay right there, dude. That was fucking cool. That's what cool. it's all about. All right. Oh, I that guess. was it? Yeah. All right, guys, keep it going. Woo! Yeah. For Jack Timmons from Austin and J.P. McDay from New York. <laughs> you really just want to say giant faggot, all right. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> With a J and a P-A. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's clever to a fifth grader. All right. Uh, <laughs> they can't say that. That's not That's a good point. Uh, Frank, who'd you like here? The koala bear or the bamboo tree? <laughs> 
Oh, man. This, I mean, McDade all the way, dog. Come on, mm. baby. You had it, uh, I mean, you every little thing, you just had him on it, and it was great. Not that, you know, I don't love a good uh, faggot punchline, but we heard it a lot. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, J JP, you just, you had him on the freelance, the very little comedy, the Lululemon, the Rick and Morty, like the, the whole, you're making fun of his deaf girlfriend. Like, I love it, you know what I mean? And you're so tall. Like, you... <laughs> You are what his girlfriend imagines when she fucks Jack. You know what I mean? Our battle looks like you took a picture of the same guy and kind of dragged one of the corners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, just make out already. What's going on? <laughs> oh, no, we will. Um, yeah, go, good job, McDade. One for JP. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, first of all, I want to thank H&R Block for giving you guys the night off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> cool. <laughs> JP, you look like you gave Jack a piggyback ride when you guys stormed the Capitol. Um, yeah, and, and Jack, you look like if the two gay dads from Modern Family could conceive naturally. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is... Uh, first, first of all, I, I just want to say, JP, as complete of a performance as I've seen in Roast Battle in a long time, it's easy to battle, like a nondescript white guy and just call him, like, racist or a rapist a bunch. Like, you really dug deep for the jokes. They were all super clever. You're a fucking monster. Well done. And, Jack, this is going to out me as a total baseball nerd. Your dad was an umpire. We don't have to do this right Tim, now. T Tim, Tim Timmons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He blew a call that cost me $50 13 years ago, so fuck you, <laughs> JP, all the way. <laughs> oh, wow. shit. All right. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's the most Philly shit I ever heard. That's yeah. that, awesome. that makes so much sense because you're built like an umpire. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was. You knew the guy's Tim Timmons? I, I know my umpires, bro. That's 50 bucks. I need that 50 bucks. <laughs> With inflation, that's like 80 bucks now. Jamar? I mean, yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, yeah uh, give it up for Pinky and the Brain here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they both look like they're what audition. What are we going to do tonight, Brain? <laughs> yeah, see, he does the voice. I told you. You think I'm just saying shit. They both look, <laughs> they both look like they're auditioning for Space Jam Monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Darius Bennett. Um, oh, my God, they do. That guy right there uh, on the corner, he looks like he date rape sex robots by taking one battery out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to be honest. These are some fucking great jokes you guys are getting out. There's so many words in them. You're getting the whole thing out, <laughs> enunciating. It's so good, you guys. Yeah, thank you, uh, Brian <laughs> Moses. And um, that guy does not look like Tom Brady. Um, uh, shut up. Okay, I'm going to go for the tall one. Okay. Cool. Folks, yeah. your winner. Second battle of the night. Great. JP McDay! I love it. Keep it going. That's Jack Timmons. Tim Timmons' son. And that's JP McDay. That was a that was a very beautiful Book of Mormon episode. It felt like that, yeah. All right. Uh, this next battle is exciting. A lot of hair in this battle. Uh, this is Denver versus Los Angeles. <laughs> Ladies first. Uh, all the way from Los Angeles. Make it loud for Elise Golgowski. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Guys, keep it going for Elise. She's here. All right. Elise, have you ever been to Austin your first time? Uh, I was here before the pandemic for a little bit. So it's good to be back. It's nice. It's still hot. What, what do you know about your opponent, Evan Joe? Uh, he's a white rapper. He's a magician. He makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> He's yeah. a white rapper and a magician? Yeah, yeah, you know, double threat, triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's meet this fucking, uh, whatever. Uh, I don't know what to say about this guy. Uh, he is the Denver champion of Rose Battle. Make a laugh for my man, Evan Joe! <laughs> 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 Yo, these chicks are hot. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. You look like weird I'll strangle the bitch. <laughs> I, Yo, dog, you look like you believe in a thing called love, yeah? I do. All right. <laughs> Evan, good to see you. It's good to see you, Curious George Floyd. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the second time I've been called George Floyd in this fucking building. Why is that? <laughs> Dude, niggas just want to kneel on my fucking neck. No. <laughs> Evan, what do you know about uh, Elise here? Um, I know that she's the skinniest girl I've ever seen with two chins. <laughs> um, Other than that, boring as fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> literally, I asked her if there was anything interesting about her life. She was like, my brother does IT? I don't fucking... Yeah. All right. It's true. That's a true story. All right. All right. <laughs> let's fucking... Let's start this vagina monologue showcase. Uh, it's one round. It's five jokes. Elise, Evan, who's going first? I'd like to go first. Ladies first. All right. Folks, let's get into it. Battle, battle, LA, Denver, that's wrong. Evan, you sentient owl pellet. You look like an entire Renaissance fair manifested into one person. Wow, I mean, what can I say about a least that hasn't already been whispered at a women's swim meet? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Elise is the kind of gal to chug milk during sex and then finish on the dude's back. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh boy, good one, carrot top surgery. Uh, <laughs> Evan's dad is in prison. <laughs> <But> <laughs> It must be heartbreaking for him, though, knowing that his crush is out there fucking other dudes. But at least now you know where he is. What? What the fuck, bitch? I know you stole that from Kung Fu Panda. That's... Oh, oh man. No, seriously, thank you, Chinderella. Um, Elise actually used to work at Disney World. Uh, that was until Walt Disney found out and fired her for looking too Jewish. <laughs> it's, I can say that I'm also Jewish looking so. <laughs> cool thank you machine gun smelly you're welcome <laughs> Shelon Musk <laughs> right. man yeah I do look like a man that's why I probably get paid more than you <laughs> it's fine <laughs> cool keep it going for Hermione stranger danger you guys it's statutory rape, not statutory rape. God, but seriously, Evan looks like he sucks toes. Because that's, that's the closest he'll ever get to legally sucking baby dicks. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Billary Clinton. <laughs> um, Elise is addicted to ketamine. Uh, but only because her doctor thinks she's a horse. <laughs> cool. That's rich coming from a boy built like a bird scooter. <laughs> so Evans lived on a farm for one year, but he's been fucking animals for two. He likes his horse come shaken, not stirred. <laughs> I'll sell you some cum after the show for $5, bitch. Oh, thank you, she biscuit. <laughs> You're welcome, weird Barbie Yankovic. <laughs> thank you, manic depression Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, vanilla lice. <laughs> um, Back in 2015, Elise had skin cancer on her nose. Fortunately, the doctors were able to find it fast enough and save that innocent cancer from her ugly face. <laughs> Man, that would have been really scathing if it came from a hot person, you know? <laughs> Boy... Uh, Evan's grandmother actually passed away choking on a pulled pork sandwich he made for her. That was the only time Evan's ever had his pork in a woman's mouth. <laughs> All right. Well, coming from a young Jay Leno, that doesn't mean much. So. 
man. Oh, thank you, Real Housewives of war-torn Ukraine. I... Thank you, two-thirds of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> you... Keep going! You, you look like the baby Michael Jackson and Macaulay Culkin would have had. <laughs> Adorable and successful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Raped and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Elise Golgowski, my man Evan Joe. This shit audience. Man. It started out kind of slow and then came back with some fucking fire player. It's about us. Uh, this is the hottest lesbian couple I've ever seen in my fucking life, dude. Shit. Um, <laughs> I think that that guy won. You got to guess which one I'm talking about. <laughs> my God, Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah. Elise is always amazing. I just think that he... Uh, is that pulled pork sandwich story true? Uh, uh, it is. It is absolutely true. And my other grandma killed herself. So, damn. No one wants to spend time with Evan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now. Um, anyway. Yeah. That guy. That this one right here won the non-binary thing won. <laughs> yes. Evan is where the wild things are. Go ahead, Frank. I mean, one more time. Let him hear. It. This battle was insane. I gotta, it set off the warning on my Apple Watch for how loud it got. That's fucking, you guys had jokes on jokes on jokes. I think it was more jokes than uh, the previous two battles. It was fucking phenomenal, and they were so fucking mean. Uh, damn, I mean, Evan had, it was just, I watched you guys go back and forth. I think it was like five jokes, the thank yous. That was amazing. I, it, this one's so hard. Um, I think Elise edged out just a little bit for me over Tilda Swinton. And... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a Tilda. I called him Tilda Swinton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Elise. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Her knees look angry. Look at them, real close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm angry people faces in them. All yeah. right, so it's, it's recap here. You voted for Evan. You voted for Elise. Patrick, break this time. I didn't even notice her knee. How is it possible that Logan Farr doesn't have the most fucked up legs on the show tonight? Um, yeah, mean knees. Right. This, was a, this was a great battle. You two look like the worst team you can play as in WNBA Jam. Um, Damn. WNBA Jam. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I usually take notes, and I just I lost track somewhere in the middle. The, the volume of jokes you guys were throwing out there was just incredible. Uh, you think? You th all right? Jamar, Jamar, Jamar's in my ear. I. All right. Okay. Well, they've only done fifty a piece, so let's. What's one more? Uh, let's uh, let's just get into it then. Let's make it quick. Let's fucking go. Overtime. Overtime. Let's do it. All right, Elise, you went first. That means Evans up first. Joke up. Let's roast. Elise's last name is Golgowski, which is hard to pronounce unless you have two dicks in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and you pronounced it perfectly. <laughs> You walked into that so yep. fucking hard, Fuck. dog. That was crazy. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, at least you didn't have that written down, did you? I did. I did have another one, but I didn't need it. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm going for Jim Carrey mid mass transition right here. Another specific reference. So many. Uh, Elise, Elise, great job. And it, very rarely do you go to overtime, and it, it lives up to that level. But great call, Jamar. You fucking nailed it. You were both incredible. Uh, but I give it to Elise. Clearly. Overtime battle. Elise, go down, guys. Hug each other. Shake a hand. 
God damn, one, dog. Yeah, yeah. Three battles down. Hey, let's make some noise for the crowd tonight. These guys, this is a fucking badass crowd. One of the best crowds. One of the best crowds we've ever had. They're smart. They're fuck. They get it. I love this crowd. What up, Lunchbox? You like these motherfuckers? Hell yeah! Woo! Bad! Your next battle, this is the only battle that could probably follow that one. These guys are hometown heroes. They're from here in Austin. They actually, they are the commissioners of the Roast Battle Austin, and they're battling tonight. This is going to be fun. First guy to bring to the stage, make a lot for Mike Eaton. Yeah, baby. Looking good. Hello. Yes. Now, I can talk to you guys about this because you guys know each other. Uh, you guys booked the battles here in town. Yeah. You're trying to expand a little bit. Yeah. Didn't mean to say expand. I know you're on stage. Uh, <laughs> here I am, expanding. You are expanding. Uh, Adam's one of your best friends. Why are you doing this to him? I don't know. I saw Sound of Freedom, and I just got jacked up about... <laughs> it's like, I'm going to take him out myself. <laughs> Put on Oliver Anthony. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe you just called your best friend a pedophile. All right. Oh, it's going to happen a lot. <laughs> True. Uh, this guy, yeah, he's registered. Make it loud for <laughs> Adam Lucky. Yeah. What's up, man? I don't fuck kids. <laughs> Did someone say it's opposite day? <laughs> Bring me your children. <laughs> Only the girls. I ain't a faggot, right, Pat? <laughs> you guys like that? I got to get it out of the way. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say all the other ones, too. <laughs> the one that would make Jamar really mad. We'll see. <laughs> I won't. Hey, hey, hey. That's my birthday now. <laughs> uh, Adam, why are you battling hey. your boy here? Uh, it's the battle everyone wants. The battle of the retired school shooters. You know, the guys... <laughs> We just don't have the speed we used to have. <laughs> so. I only got one because I stopped in the cafeteria. <laughs> here's the thing, man. If you guys know what's... I was hungry. <laughs> Here, here's why that should have hit harder. Because you guys, you guys are in the shape to be school shooters. School shooters are usually like tall, lanky, in shape. You know, they're e-gamers. You guys are like pedophiles. Yeah, I'm not in fighting weight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's one round. It's five jokes. Who's got it first? Hey, this looks like the Dusk Dynasty Blue Collar Tour. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like that. Who's Thank going you. first? Uh, I'll go first. Yeah. You got this? Yeah. Folks, oh, so are we ready for this? This is Austin Let's Zone. Go! Battle. Keep it going. Out of Lucky, Mike Eaton. Let's roll. I do love Mike Eaton, but he does look like a TikTok dancer and a dirt bike lesbian had a retarded baby. <laughs> and Adam looks Zeth. like... <laughs> And Adam looks like Skrillex fucked an onion. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, guys, Adam moved to Texas because he loves guns. Uh, Adam has a lot in common with guns because when they're unregistered, they end up in schools. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mike's great. His arms look like he got a tattoo every time a girl said, you're like a brother to me. <laughs> you're so, I trust you so much. That's why they're always stuck in the laundry, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Uh, Adam is really into retro games like Pac-Man. That's where kids eat his white dots and then he ghosts them. <laughs> I ain't ready for long-term com commitment yet. Dude. I'll get there, whatever. Uh, Mike just got a divorce recently. Him, his, him and his wife would argue a lot. She'd get mad because he constantly crammed fast food in his mouth and he got mad because she constantly crammed black cock in her ass. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't for what they love. <laughs> it wasn't constantly. It was Wednesdays. <laughs> Uh, didn't, didn't it look like his mom was the pigeon lady from Home Alone? <laughs> uh, Adam is a proud member of the LGBTQ plus community. He is, of course, the plus because I'm positive he fucks kids. <laughs> One time you're labeled forever. It's bullshit, dude. Now, Mike's wife was actually very clever because he's a big Third Eye Blind fan, so when she asked for a divorce, she said, I want someone else to get me through this shitty married life. That didn't go that good, damn it. <laughs> it hurts I to sing it. and bomb. It didn't <laughs> feel good at all. That was my favorite Jared Slogel song. <laughs> right. 
Uh, Adam is Jewish, uh, which is pretty cool. That just means that after sex, he Venmo requests the kids for the amount of the candy. <laughs> I might be a pedophile, but I'm also Jewish, though. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't ripping me off. I know a deal, dude. Since Mike has gotten divorced, uh, he's been fucking a lot of dumb open mic comedians. Uh, he's taking advantage. He's taking advantage of so many mentally challenged, aspiring comedians that we refer to his sex life as "Kill Tony." <laughs> oh man, Adam's teeth are so black and retarded. We call his smile the "Kill Tony" regulars. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. Keep it going for Mike Eaton and Adam Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Well, fuck. <laughs> I see Frank smiling. Yes, Frank, who did you like in this oh, one? Oh, man. This was a lot of fun. A lot of inside baseball. Uh, good job, Mike, on fucking a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do it for cardio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Adam. Great. I love a good swing and trying to sing. You know what I mean? It was, I've seen you do karaoke, and let me tell you, yeah. good job. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we all heard it. I mean, dude, man, a lot of kids getting fucked in this set. That was pretty crazy, you yeah? know? A lot of kids. Yeah, they was fucking the shit out of them kids. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to have to go with Mike Eaton on this. Not that I don't love you, Adam, but, you know, practice is singing. Um, good job, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah. Uh, Jamar, which one of the jerky boys did you like? <laughs> I mean, this is a great battle, wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah! Uh, Adam Lucky looks like Texas Chainsaw's mom. And um, <laughs> Mike Eaton uh, looks like a PBS bully. Um, I <laughs> Get in that locker. <laughs> <laughs> They both look like they just finished their shift at Goodwill. Why <laughs> 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 you gonna wear the same? Where else are you gonna buy three LW T-shirts? <laughs> <laughs> it's community service, man. I'm working. I mean, yeah, yeah, I would agree with uh, Pat. I'm gonna give it to Mike Eaton. I think Adam Yay. is very talented. I, I'm gonna give it to Mike. Yay. Yeah, that was Frank. Uh, Go ahead, Pat. Yeah, um, Mike, I, I think it's amazing how you managed to look like both Pee Wee Herman and the guy who stole his bike at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. And Adam, you look like the creepy lady in the bathtub who tried to fuck Jack Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> yeah, damn right. <laughs> damn. So, these references are crazy specific tonight, fellas. He this said the crazy. secret word. She was pretty skinny, honestly. That feels good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was really close. Uh, I, I was actually going to edge it slightly to Adam because to me it was, it was super even and you had my favorite joke of the battle, which is the tattoos for every time a woman said you're like a brother to me. I thought that was great. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. Great job, guys. And uh, hell yeah, congratulations. Adam, Fuck yeah. Adam looks like he gives haunted house tours. <laughs> so. Folks, keep it going for your winner this tonight. This is <laughs> Mr. Mikey. Yeah. Hug each other, you two. This is exciting. We saved the best for last. I'm excited about these two. Who's battling, Pat? Uh, we have the current Bay Area champion going up against one of Chicago's best. Love it. Okay. Ladies first, from the Bay Area, the champ, Ashley Monique. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. 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 Ashley, everybody. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ashley, you're here to avenge uh, your boyfriend. He lost earlier, so now you're here to win for the family. Yeah, my boyfriend lost. Um, but we just broke up, so he lost me, too. Hey! <laughs> hey! Welcome hey! back! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Poor... Poor Connor from Austin. Uh, all right, let's meet your fucking opponent here. From Chicago, love this cat. Make a for Matthew Mitchell! <laughs> Big Maddie Mitchell. <laughs> oh, man, weren't you just battling last battle shit? Um, <laughs> oh, shit! That guy loves it. Uh, what do you know about Ashley here? 
I don't know. I've heard, uh, like, I really wanted to battle somebody who was, like, really, really smart and funny, but uh, all the dudes were busy, so. Hell yeah. All right. One round, five jokes, last battle. Who's going first? I'll go first. Ladies first. Folks, this is the last battle of the night. Let's make it so fucking loud we break this bitch. <laughs> battle! 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 Let's run! It's really cool that Matt is here uh, because normally he's busy kicking Dee Dee out of his laboratory. <laughs> Matt, uh, he looks like he eats pussy, but only if there's ketchup on it. Jesus Christ. I'm getting smoked by a black lady. I feel like a menthol up here. Holy shit. Good Lord. No. <laughs> Ashley is half black and half Latin, so the only thing she's a slave to is the rhythm. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Matt doesn't drink because his dad was an alcoholic, and he looks like that because his mom was an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, man. Believe it or not, Ashley is 32. Uh, she actually reminds me a lot of America, you know? Because she's diverse, destined for failure, and uh, currently going through an egg shortage. <laughs> you know, Matt only likes to see a three in a woman's age when it's the only digit. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt was bullied in school, uh, but the only mass shooting he's ever done is into his socks. Yeah, good one, Selma High Cholesterol. Jesus Christ. Good Lord, what the fuck? I'll tell you what's crazy is, I don't know if you guys know what a Tijuana donkey show is. It's, for, it's a show where a sex worker has intercourse with a donkey live on stage. And Ashley used to do them. Yeah. I just feel terrible for whatever prostitute had to fuck Ashley. That's terrible. <laughs> Doesn't Matt's voice sound like he's always trying to hold back a burp? <laughs> Doesn't Ashley look like she's always trying to hold back a burp? I guess not. I apologize. I can't tell whether Matt looks more like a serial killer or the skin suit he wants to make. Man. <laughs> Something about this doesn't really feel like a fair fight, mostly because Ashley looks like a trans athlete. But uh, <laughs> if you played tennis, your name would be Penis Williams. You know, before the roast, um, I asked Matt if anything was off limits, and he said, school zones, parks, playgrounds. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, good work there, Disney's Encanto. I, uh, I will say, uh, Ashley, she recently got a septum ring. And a lot of people might be worried that getting that kind of nose piercing is cultural appropriation. But I'm here to tell you that historically, those have always been worn by big fat cows. So it's actually, yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep it going, everybody. Ashley Monique, Matthew Mitchell! And this is the last battle of the night. Jamar Neighbors, who'd you like in this one? I mean, uh, shit. I mean... First and foremost, sugar, I just want to say you thicker than back of the throat spit. Uh, Shit. <laughs> Nigga, that is thick. Nigga. <laughs> Real ones know. Real ones know. Shit. Yeah. That sloppy? Nigga. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, but, uh, you know, Pat Barker right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> no, I just thought that he was a little bit more uh, 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 consistent, so I'm going to give it to uh, him. Nice. Nice. You heard nice. me, motherfucker. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Isn't One for right? Maddie. All right. Frank, which character from the Drew Carey show did you like? Hilarious. Uh, once again, phenomenal battle. This was so great. I loved it. Uh, Slob Fest did very good. Um, uh, uh, but this, I mean, you, I loved everything you did. All the jokes were great. You really had it. It was neck and neck for me. Um, this has nothing to do with the fact that you are uh, now recently single, but good job. Uh, and I vote for you, Ashley. Ashley, I vote for you, Ashley. <laughs> Fuck. I, Ashley great. had very good jokes. Wow. Oh, my God. Okay. 
Pat, which juggalo without the makeup did you like? <laughs> Give it up for Brian Moses. He's on fire tonight. Let him hear it. Oh, I, I have Go allergies back. tonight. I'm, I know. You're fighting through the allergies. I'm trying I to get the fuck I out of here. I respect that. Yeah. 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 Well, I, w I, won't, I won't hold you. This has been an excellent night of battles. Uh, great main event. Uh, maybe my favorite show we, we've done here. I, I want to thank all the comics. They all killed it. Um, I thought this was like... Pretty even throughout. Matthew, I can't believe you got that slave to the rhythm act out to work. Um, so good. <laughs> the, the Gloria <laughs> Stefan, whatever the fuck that was. Um, that was crazy. The egg shortage was great. Um, and, and Ashley with the alcoholic mass shooting. To me, it came down to the last joke. And I edged it slightly to is anything off limits? The school zones, Ashley's. Uh... <laughs> but great job, both of you. Ladies love it. Folks, make it loud. Your last winner of the night, Miss Ashley Bodine.